Oh. Ah, there you are, 007. I thought you were never going to answer. Now, sorry we had to conceal this radio receiver in your new shotgun stock, but it's the only way we could be sure of contacting you. If you will go on holiday... I must say, I do rather envy you. Lord Brockley's clay pigeon shoots are always very relaxing. Just hope it stays that way. Now, Brockley's got some pretty important guests there. A trio of cabinet ministers and several ambassadors. I'm sorry, 007, but you weren't invited just to enjoy the country air. Now, 002 has reported strange happenings along the Turkish coast. About a week ago... A tiny little fishing village was swamped by foreigners. They're a mixed bunch, all nationalities, but they knew each other. And he heard them talking about low-level helicopter flying. He's definitely onto something, but we don't know what. His body was washed up yesterday in the south of France, almost 2,000 miles from where he was last seen alive. Now, I'm sure you can see the urgency of the situation. Broccoli is playing host to some of the most important people in Europe, and we can't take any chances. So, keep your eyes open, 007. And if anything untoward should happen, well, I'm sure you'll deal with it with your usual efficiency. Stop the tape here and play the next section. Oh, 007, thanks for getting down here so quickly. You know, we were right. The crew of the chopper reads like a roll call of international terrorists, four of the most dangerous mercenaries on our files. It'd take something huge to bring those four together, and our men in Turkey reported a whole army of suspicious types. Well, you'd better sit down. No, no, not there. That's a prototype we're working on, an ejector seat. For top-ranking officials, if somebody tries to assassinate them at their desk, it shoots them to safety through a trapdoor in the ceiling. Only we don't have the trapdoor fitted yet. You know, it would have blasted you against three inches of concrete at 100 miles an hour. But even you'd have got a headache from that. Right, back to business. Now, there's only one organization powerful enough to recruit terrorists of these capabilities. An organization called Spider. And their aim is obvious. If they'd killed those ambassadors on British soil, think what it would have meant to the peace talks next month. Well, we'd have been back on the iciest depths of the Cold War. So, we're sending you in. You must eliminate Spider's threat before they try again. And it's going to be tough. Possibly your toughest assignment ever. So... We've devised something to give you an edge. Now, this may look like an ordinary pistol, but it's not. Firstly, it's electrogenetically personalized. Only you'll be able to use it. Now, I want you to hold it while I set it. There. That's it. Now, you're the only person able to use it. Take it out on the firing range, get used to it, blast those bullseyes, and... Piece of cake, really, 007. But pay attention, because this is actually three weapons in one. For your second visit to the range, you'll use it in continuous fire mode. That's right. Hold down the trigger, and you've got a machine pistol. Pretty neat, hmm? And finally, the heavy artillery. Well, you can't really lug a bazooka around with you, so we've devised a miniature explosive shell. Its effects are devastating. It can blow holes in armor-plated steel. Now, that'll be your third session of the firing range. Sorry to put you through all this, 007, but M insists. Oh, and you don't leave here until you've achieved the qualifying scores in each category. Well, what are you waiting for? Get shooting.
stop the tape here and play the next section. Well done, 007. I knew you could do it. It's a nice weapon, isn't it? Well, you're going to need it. While you've been on the firing range, we've uncovered what Spider is really up to. And it's far worse than we first thought. They're going to mount an all-out attack on the peace talks next month. In the confusion that follows, they'll seize military power in three of the world's most unstable countries. They'll hold the East and the West to ransom. Overnight, they'll turn from being a counter-espionage organization to a major political power. Now, fortunately, we've located their headquarters, but it's fortified beyond belief. To avoid raising the alarm, you'll have to go in alone. I don't have to tell you how dangerous that's going to be. You must infiltrate their base swiftly and silently, shooting anybody who gets in your way before they have a chance to raise the alarm. Now, you're going to need every bit of the accuracy you've just demonstrated on the target range, and a bit more. Now, we don't quite know what you're going to find in there, but our sources say there are eight levels before you come face to face with their leader in his inner sanctum. You must use whichever of the gun's modes is most suitable for each situation. Get it wrong, and you're as good as dead. But you won't need the gun all the time. Grab whatever you find in there to get you to that final level. Right, now your mission briefing is waiting. Read it carefully, but don't waste time. The future of world peace depends on you. And James, I don't need to say it, but... Good luck. You'll need it. Stop the tape now and play the final section.